Hey, let's talk about water pumps. I'm going to talk about something you shouldn't be crying about. Weep holes. Weep hole design? Well, it's changed over the years. A weep hole is a hole between the bearings and the seals that allows some coolant to seep out over time. This is completely normal. Why? Well, because that seal needs pressure behind it to properly seal, and it's going to leak over time and leave a little bit of residue around one of the weep holes. For eons, the weep hole has been part of the shaft and the housing. This hole, well, it's between either a bearing and a seal. And as time goes by and some of that coolant leaks out, well, you're going to see a little bit of a green corrosion, orange corrosion. Depending on the color of the coolant, you're going to see corrosion leaking out of here. But it's not going to be in mass. It's going to be kind of a crusty type appearance. If you look at these three water pumps, well, the weep hole is right here on the housing. And this is normal for probably 80% of the engines out there. But some engines that drive the water pump either by a timing chain or timing belt, well, they change the location of the weep holes. Let's look at this water pump right here. It's driven by a timing belt. Instead of the weep holes coming out near the shaft, well, the weep hole is actually routed to the side of the housing. On some vehicles like a Nissan VQ V6, well, the weep hole is actually routed to the back of the timing cover near one of the cylinder heads. You may think that that cylinder head has a leaky head gasket or there's an issue with one of the freeze plugs, but it's actually stuff coming from the weep hole on the water pump. So if you're replacing some of these water pumps, make sure you're looking at the service information to find out where that weep hole goes. And if you're replacing a timing chain or a timing belt, make sure you're also replacing the water pump. I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much.